What if I told you that in the next decade, up to 40% of jobs around the world could be wiped out by artificial intelligence and automation? How would that impact you, your finances, your career? Would new specialized jobs emerge to replace the ones made obsolete? And how should governments and companies start preparing today? AI is fast emerging as the next major disruptor to global workforces and livelihoods. In a new study, the International Monetary Fund explores projected exposure levels across economies and recommendations to help ease the transition. Today, we'll break down the key insights from their report and what it means for jobs of the future. From who's most at risk to how we can adapt through the smart collaboration between policymakers and businesses. So let's get started. AI Exposure Across Economies First, let's look at the estimated exposure levels to AI disruption based on a country's level of economic development. According to the IMF study, AI could impact about 60% of existing jobs in advanced high-income economies. Comparatively, the exposure rate stands at 40% for emerging market economies and 26% for low-income developing countries. Why such a discrepancy in AI impact? Well, higher income nations tend to have more occupations that involve routine administrative tasks and analytics, jobs that are ripe for automation. Many developing countries don't yet have the digital infrastructure or specialized AI talent to rapidly adopt these advanced technologies. But the long-term risk is very real. If countries fall behind in understanding how to leverage AI, it could significantly worsen inequality across and within national borders. The Jobs Most Exposed to AI When looking at exposure risk from automation, we see big differences across occupations. According to recent research, jobs requiring repetitive tasks, limited human interaction, or routine data processing face the highest displacement levels from AI adoption. For example, Pew Research found these U.S. jobs have high AI exposure. Budget analysts, data entry clerks, tax preparers, technical writers, and web developers. About 19% of American workers fall into high exposure roles vulnerable to automation. Comparatively, jobs like barbers, child care, cleaners, firefighters, and construction workers all have low exposure given their reliance on dexterity, social skills, and dynamic decision making. But researchers note history shows new technologies also spur demand for emerging roles. Of the jobs today, roughly 60% did not exist in 1940, even after disruptive innovations like electrification and assembly lines had reshaped the workforce. And so, while certain occupations may shrink, new specialized AI and tech-related jobs will offset some displacements. But without proper training initiatives, vulnerable demographics face higher inequality risk in the transition period. Interestingly, Pew data reveals discrepancies in AI job exposure, even within national borders. Women, college graduates, Asian Americans, and higher paid workers all appear the most exposed right now. But why? These groups tend to be employed in white-collar office jobs that involve data analysis and decision support, prime automation targets. Comparatively, men will often work manual labor-intensive roles, like construction, which currently relies less on AI capabilities. And minority groups, including Hispanic and Black employees, tend to have lower-paid service sector jobs with high social intelligence needs, making them harder to automate. But this could change as AI capabilities continue advancing. Even sophisticated capabilities, like self-driving vehicles, could reshape entire industries down the line. So, reskilling and retraining at-risk workers will only grow in importance. The jobs likely to be augmented by AI. It's not all bad news on the jobs front. While certain occupations may shrink or evolve, we also expect new specialized roles to emerge in tandem with expanded use of AI tools. Jobs requiring creative thinking, complex problem solving, collaboration, social intelligence, and technical skills have a strong probability of being augmented but not replaced outright by AI tech. We're talking about doctors, scientists, engineers, managers, lawyers, teachers, therapists, and the like. 
AI will enhance these professionals' capabilities, allowing them to focus more on higher reasoning tasks versus repetitive duties. But to ensure society benefits from this AI productivity boost, both companies and governments need to prioritize relevant retraining programs. For example, augmenting healthcare with AI diagnostics and personalized treatment recommendations allows doctors and nurses to provide superior individualized care. But they need the proper training to leverage these cutting-edge tools. Otherwise, groups with limited access to retraining would face widening inequality. With AI and automation expected to reshape global workforces over the coming decade, what steps can governments and corporations take to ensure a smooth and equitable transition? Building an AI-ready workforce For national and local governments, top priorities should include promoting fair and ethical AI use. This requires updating legal frameworks on critical areas like data privacy, algorithmic bias checks, and accountability in AI ethics. Policymakers could form centralized oversight bodies to establish guardrails and standards for the public and private sector. Governments should also incentivize tech companies to openly publish details on AI development practices, safety protocols, and data collection policies. This transparency can help build public trust in AI systems. Another imperative is training workers for the new roles and capabilities needed in an AI-driven economy. This entails major investments in STEM education from primary schools through university in order to foster both tech literacy and career readiness. Virtual training programs focused specifically on digital skills and AI competencies can help to scale access to the latest knowledge. Governments can also spur multi-stakeholder partnerships, bringing together educators, tech experts, and employers to collaborate on adjusting curriculums across majors. The goal is to integrate AI understanding into mainstream education. Additionally, national and state leaders need robust initiatives to assist workers displaced by automation. Policy options range from expanding unemployment benefits and social safety nets to support those in transition to increasing funds for intermediary job retraining programs in growing fields like machine learning and data science. Tax credits or grants could incentivize companies to reskill employees whose roles may shrink due to AI and or tech disruption. At the corporate level, using AI responsibly and transparently is essential. Businesses can appoint dedicated AI ethics officers to conduct risk assessment on current and potential applications, guiding data and design protocols accordingly. Both internal tools and customer-facing product offerings should undergo bias testing to address problems around unfair outcomes or marginalizing impacts on vulnerable groups. Companies have a responsibility to embed strong privacy protections and AI accountability measures into development cycles and usage policies. Organizations must also invest actively in human-AI collaboration via training and work design. Humans should remain in the loop, monitoring AI systems once deployed, updating models based on insights, and maintaining healthy oversight. User experience should be tailored when rolling out AI tools to workers, ensuring an intuitive interface that augments respective skill sets rather than overwhelms. Managers will require their own training on best practices for considering data-driven AI recommendations during high-reasoning tasks like strategic planning or diagnosis. And lastly, firms need to support ongoing reskilling and upskilling amongst their workforce. Hiring should evaluate for learnability, change management skills, and willingness to master emerging tools. With joint initiatives that are centered on equitable training access, responsible AI guidelines, and collaborative integration, businesses and policy leaders can pave the way for technological productivity gains that benefit society broadly rather than exacerbate inequality. Managing this transition equitably across borders and socioeconomic groups brings challenges, but also opportunities if proper preparation starts now. What other ideas or insights on emerging jobs in an AI economy would you add to the conversation? Let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget to like this video if you found it insightful and subscribe to the channel for more insightful content. As always, thank you for joining us and I'll see you in the next one.